Oh boy. Ahoy, fellas. And it has been a while since we've seen this screen. But uh, you know what that means. I'm going to be doing extras. That's right, it's a post finale thing. Sort of. Right? In December of 2013, a few short months after starting the work on Night in the Woods, and three weeks after our Kickstarter ended, we decided to read something small. We wanted to show that we were, in fact, making something. So many ideas, just so many ideas, just say ideas after all. And we wanted to have something out there that we'd released. Sometimes you just need to complete something. The team had a little less than two weeks before all parties left to visit family for the holidays. Longest night came out of that. Our first supplemental game. It ended up planting ideas that would grow into tall, weird idea trees later on in Night in the Woods. Interesting. Oh, I see. This is like the, the demo version. <laughs> wow. Why aren't I cold? Probably because there's a big fire. Okay, you know. Yeah, so I, I mean, somebody had to have said it, you know. We've reached that level of civilization. Very nice. <laughs> the longest night constellation thing. What? No one has done that since they were six. I'm, I lightly remember being six. Sort of. But I'm also not 20 yet. Um, you know. I remember a lot of weird things. You know? Like, you expect to remember things that are, like, big or traumatic or actually make you feel something. But I remember so many weird, just almost nonsensical, but kind of vivid things that have no bearing and are very important. I'm not sure why, even. Because, again, they were relatively innocuous things. Not ubiquitous, but just kind of not seemingly important. I have one, not just one. I have some very early memories. Very early. Um, <laughs> this should be interesting. Mm -hmm can't see anything. Yeah, probably because of light pollution. You're right next to a fire. But then again, I guess that only happens with like large amounts of ambient light. If you just have one fire nearby. Oh, wow. What's that? <laughs> oh, am I... Do I have to draw shapes? Is this what's happening? I guess it's by sound, huh? Huh. Cool. Interesting. Wow, I did it! We did it, guys. It is... I beat the game, but... Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. So... Basically, like, um... When I was really young, I had massive tonsils and adenoids. Right? And those are... I want to say they're lightly related to hope sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Yeah, those were crazy times that you don't really hear much about. <laughs> there are two rival popes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh... Oh, that... I don't know if that happened. Okay. It sounds about right, honestly. <laughs> I do remember the time of two rival popes. Not personally, but... Um, Jeez, I don't have I don't have that early of a memory. <laughs> Historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. Um, yeah, I suppose. Wow, sheesh. But um, hey, wow. 
but uh, <laughs> are they all about Rebello? <laughs> cool. So, um, God, what was it? But yeah, my tonsils were massive, and I guess my adenoids were also massive. So when I was like very young, like before my first birthday, if I ever got a cold or anything, my throat would just swell shut entirely. Um, and I wouldn't be able to breathe. And I, uh, I cite that as being the reason that I remember this, because apparently when that would happen, my parents had like some kind of breathing machine they'd like hook a mask into and I'd have to use this freaking box to breathe. And somehow, somehow my brain remember. and I thought, I thought when I was remembering it, that this was, this would be when I was like, I don't know, two or three maybe. But no, this apparently, because according to my mom at least, and I'm sure she remembers this better than I do, I got my tonsils and adenoids removed when I was like, before I was one, you know, a couple of months, maybe around one year old. So I have memories from before that because I remember it very vividly just because it's kind of funny. I don't remember being in pain or anything, which is nice. But just kind of funnily enough, I remember that, okay, that's just three, really? The broken snake, the first thing that talked. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Pitched a fit over the story, what do you mean? You got sent out of adult church to sit with your parents. Wow, okay. But, um, yeah, I guess. The, um, I remember that there was like, normal mask and then a mask that looked like a fish and somehow my parents would be like which 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 one do you want to which one do you want to have right and I'd be like oh it's a fish mask you know now I feel like there's maybe a bit less validity to this memory but then I may be remembering something else seeing as I would this would be before I was I was one year old like, I'm a genius and all, but maybe not so much of a genius that I would be, like, saying things along the lines of, I want the fish mask on her, please. Um, I think that means you're thousands of geniuses. Oh, very nice. I am thousands of geniuses. I get the feeling May and I have not talking to me that instance. Wow, a goat. The first singer. Wow. Whoa, d I, never mind, I can't think of anything specific. Oh yeah, we watched it when Winster Olmers was out sick those two weeks. It's a super long opera. Wow, interesting. I've been trained to the ocean to make the fish grow. See, my story was related. There's fish in this. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it was probably more like I would freaking point at the funny fish mask and god there's some weird deep-seated memory with I can almost I can imagine it somewhat vividly I wouldn't be able to draw it but my ability to draw what I have in my head is very limited to begin with so if I saw something similar I would be able to point it out I might not even be right but I would be able to point it out and I just remember it as being, like, not exactly floppy, but not, like, a hard plastic. It looked like a fish, right? And the mouth part would be what would go on my mouth, or over my face, you know? And it smelled probably about the way you would think, like, a CPAP mask would smell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I like talking about this as much as I do. You know, <laughs> it's probably something I maybe should have be more scared about. Just in terms of yeah, I used to used to almost die every time I got a cold because my throat would swell shut. But yeah, apparently when I did get my tonsils and adenoids taken out. Um, the guy that took them out said that they were the, the largest bed of adenoids he had ever seen. 
um, and I hope that the, uh, the caveat there is that he had ever seen in someone around one year of age, because if it was the largest adenoids he'd ever seen, period, I would be a bit concerned at having them at one year of age, but I guess it would make sense, though, since my throat would swell shut. I don't know where the adenoids are, honestly, I've never had them. Well, I had them, but just not for very long. But yeah, I have, I have semi-weird memories kind of like that, you know? Um, but it, it was funny, because I, I, I never... I didn't know, I guess, that I had to have a breathing machine to live. Um, or, I guess, just breathe. So, yes, to live. Back when I was young. So... Um, I never, I never made that connection until I was told by my, by my mother about it. So again, I, I, I guess I just thought when I was a kid that um, I'd put on this funny fish mask or something, <laughs> and it was cool and I liked it. <laughs> and then, and again, I, I misremembered this as being when I was like two or three, and uh, but my mom was talking about, I guess we were talking about medical history, and I, had, I was asking her when that was, and she was like, yeah, that was when you were, like, less than a year old, and I'm like, that's weird, because I remember that, <laughs> but again, it's not the most vivid memory, and I'm sure a lot of the holes I might have in it are filled by just the fact that I lived in the same house my whole life and things like that. Like, I can imagine very vividly where it would have been. And probably... Uh, I don't know. But again, you can kind of surmise where you would be in your own house for something like that. And, you know... <laughs> Happy longest night, everyone. Moving on. Yep. What? Come on, what does this connect in here or something? You're telling me those don't connect? Wow. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. That's odd that this isn't a completed constellation yet. Oh, there we go. Yep. Interesting. Inventor of music. Hey, I did some of that at some point. But, um, another weird one I had. Uh, God. It's another thing where I would never be able to germ. Like germ, like weird germ. Like the cool germ that blew up the entire mine. Wow. <laughs> yeah. A bell. Wow. A great reminder to hit that notification bell. Tollmetron. What the heck? We're getting... Oh. That... We're getting into weirder stuff as the time goes on. <laughs> Back when people were, like, wicked dumb. <laughs> People are people were super dumb back then, I guess. Yeah, relativity is something you have to keep in mind when you're uh, talking about ancients, let alone people. I don't know. Well, I guess the way to phrase it would be like relativity in terms of intelligence would be the best way to think about people 50 years ago, let alone 6,000. Yeah. But anyways... Is this another threeper? Of course it is. It's a fish! Dude! We're, we're getting a lot of fish this episode. <laughs> but I remember another one. And I don't remember where this was. I went... I had a lot of behavior problems when I was very small. So... I... I chalked that up to why I ended up... I almost remember like four different preschools or just daycares maybe this was because my parents like moved work or something like that and this was just where they dropped me you know it was close to wherever they worked i think one or two of them might have been that i was 
gotten rid of because of behavioral problems, though. So, <laughs> I there was one time, very specific. I don't. Again, I don't know why I remember it. Uh, that means you're adaptable and smelly. Uh, I, th I think uh, that's more of a compliment. I'm one of those right, huh, Kampa? Manly musk going on here. <laughs> Oh, jeez. It's a picture of an ice hawk on it. I smell quite masculine, like an ice hawk. That's, that's very nice. A nice hawk. Yeah. So, I, I again, but it was like, it was like nap time, I want to say. And I wasn't sleeping because I just wasn't sleeping. Well, the world fit. There are so many fish. But I wasn't. I wasn't like napping yet because it was like the beginning of nap time or something like that. And I was wearing like basketball kind of shorts or something. And I she, like fiddled around in my pockets. And for whatever reason, there was like one of them double-sided plastic coins in my pocket. And I was like, hey, that's weird. I don't remember putting this in my pocket. And so then I had a, a nice double-sided plastic coin that was in my pocket. Isn't that quaint? You know? Again, this has no bearing on anything important, and I'm not sure why I remember it. <laughs> She's making whale noises. I think we have reached the end of the longest night. Perhaps. Oh boy! Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. <laughs> My mom always said I looked like this one. She kind of does, just a little bit. On the nature of... Um, uh, they're both the same species. So... Outside looking in, they look quite similar. That's, oh my gosh. I was reading a manga actually, and um, I wanna say the whole uh, synopsis was basically that like, it's the whole hero kills the demon king story, except the hero's like a fat, ugly guy. And so the humans like reject him for being fat and ugly after he saves the world and stuff. <laughs> That's all 13 of them. He's a wacky zodiac, huh? Yeah. But, um... Thanks, Angus. It's pretty great. Big nerd cap'n. But, um... It was funny because... They... He, he, like, goes and lives with monsters and stuff. And this... The, like, all of the... The... The thing about a lot of monsters is, and I, I'm, I'm lumping in, like, humanoid mon- that's what it is, humanoids. All of the non-humanoid ones, like minotaurs and stuff, which even minotaurs are kind of humanoid, but they would all be, like, saying he should get this one, like, hot elf girl, and he'd be like, well, that doesn't make sense, because I'm, like, fat and ugly and stuff. And then they would be like, what do you mean, you- you both look pretty similar. <laughs> Because as, as like, minotaurs or orcs or whatever, they can't really tell the difference between two more humanoid-looking individuals and stuff. I always found that interesting. Not always, but, you know, when I read it, I found it interesting. Because people, we find our own way of figuring out differences between individual, like, animals and stuff, but it's not... I don't, I don't know if I can even say that humans are unique in having very distinct features between individuals. Um, I don't know. Same time, it is definitely relative to culture and such. There are people that can look very similar if they like dress the same way and such. So... I don't know. But even facial structure, it's it's the kind of thing that we are 
we're taught to look for, I guess. Because we consider ourselves individuals. I suppose that isn't to say that animals all consider themselves part of a hive mind or anything. Who knows? I sure don't. I'm not an animal. Well, I am, but, you know, not, not really. Not quite the same. What am I sitting on? Tyrannosaurus pattern? What? I haven't seen Gregor Angus. Angus for a year and a half. I didn't go home for the longest night. Oh, jeez. Am I still at college? I was never here to begin with. Sheesh, what made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus, this is your new life. Is it still you new after a year and a half? Whew. Next to you will be new again. Leg stretch. Come on, this is getting stupid, am I seriously? <laughs> well, home ain't gonna call itself, fellas. What a long night. God. Anyways, on the next episode, we're going to be doing Lost Constellation. And that'll be all, actually. But for now, we're going to like, comment, and subscribe. Or I will toss you into the unknown, the void, the fear of all mankind. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.